open, candid, honest clarity. Let's talk to the newsmakers and politicians and influencers, and let's ask them your questions. Let's be clear. Known for starring roles in movies like Patch Adams and Con Air, as well as the NBC hit Parenthood, actress Monica Potter turned from Hollywood to business, opening up a home goods store in Garrettsville. Monica talked about that and a whole lot more in the Let's Be Clear truck. You wanted to come here at the Waterloo Arts neighborhood. Why, why did you want to? Because we asked you, where do you want to go? And you said, this is, this is where you wanted yeah, to be. This is my, well, this is my neighborhood. It's what I know. And, you know, my dad was an inventor and um, my mom actually worked at the Euclid Square Mall as a cleaning lady and these are our roots. Mike is asking if there's maybe a potential reboot of Parenthood in your future or the show's future. I hope so. I mean, we keep hearing about it, but I'm not sure. Patricia wants to know, can you talk about Mrs. Potter's Lullaby? So just to give some context to people, this is a Counting Crows song. Yes. And they said that they wrote it about you or what they thought you would be like because they yes. didn't really know you at the time, right? You know a lot. I do my homework. Were you in the backyard that <laughs> night? No. I helped write that song. Did you? Yeah. It's long. It's long. Yeah. I actually found out about it. This is so Hollywood. Um, through my agent and she was friends with Adam Duritz's agent. They recorded it and he gave me the tape. He called me and said, We've been trying to lay this track down and we can't get it, you know, the same as we did that first night. Really? And I was like, so you want the tape? And so he said, yeah, so the first time they ever played it was the song that you hear on the CD. Talk to us about the store a little bit. You're moving some more online. So a lot of things are changing. We're still going to have the space and you know, the retail space to use as a place for the community and doing uh, crafting and make and take. So and I learned a lot of this through my father and how to do this. And my goal in having a company, bring jobs back to the community at large. And that's what he did. What role do you look back on that you missed out on and go, man, that was the one that got away? There was a movie called Cider House Rules. Okay, yeah. That I, mm -hmm. And I didn't do something. So therefore, I missed out on it. I'm not saying the person who got it did. I'm yeah. just saying I didn't. Um, and I remember telling my dad, um, I've never spoken about this really, what Harvey did. You know, it's out there with everybody. I've never told, uh, when this happened, my manager came to me and said, do you have a statement or, do you, you know, do you want to talk about this? And We're talking about Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein. And he tried three times with me and I belted him. I flat out belted it like I, you know, yeah. like so it's kind of weird that I'm talking about this now, but like I, I'm so grateful for all the women that stood up and, and did. Um, so yeah, I lost out on that role because of that hairy But that's pig. for good Sorry. reason. I really hit him where it hurt. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, In his bathroom, like. You know, it was, it was... Was it prominent uh, in Hollywood back then, or it, does it continue now? It I think it'll continue forever. And I think it also continues with, you know, women that are uh, influential on young men. How important was your dad? I feel like a lot of questions I'm asking or we're talking about, it all comes back to your dad. Yeah. He's the first one you called after Harvey Weinstein. He's the, the best memory you had in Cleveland. How important of a role model was he growing up? You're like Barbara Walters. Um, he uh, he was my best friend. I Can't ask for more, right? Yeah, and um, it's I love being in the house that we grew up in, and that you know my mom and and my dad created a home. And the first thing I do when I get off the red eye is I come into the house and I'm like, hey, dad. Yeah, yeah. I, especially as powerful as as he was um, in your life. Yeah to continue to reach back to him. He was just a him. good man. If you weren't a movie star, businesswoman, what would you be doing right now? Probably a nun. And that's not a joke. I wanted to be a nun growing up. Really? Mm -hmm. But then I got pregnant at 18, go figure. <laughs> Irish Catholic. I'll call you Sister Monica Potter. <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining us. And we thank you for being a part thank of you. Let's Be Clear.